If you've been following the Train Signal Office channel on YouTube for a while, you've probably already seen our video where we show you how to change the background of a slide. But there are times when instead of changing the slide background to say a photo, you might want to instead change the background of a shape and then stretch that shape out to fill the slide area. So it kind of looks like you've changed the slide background, but really it's an object on top of the background. And with our spinning globe project, since we'll be playing around with object layering later, and that's actually going to be a very important step, we're going to have to do it this way by adding a photo background to an object. So to do that, let's right click on that shape and go all the way down to Format Shape. And from in here, that'll bring up the Format Shape dialog box. And instead of a gradient fill, we're going to choose a picture fill. And you can choose picture fills or texture fills from a variety of different locations. And I actually have downloaded a picture from Shutterstock.com that I will be using for this background. So let's choose Insert from File. And then I want to navigate to where I've downloaded that photo. And there it is, it's a little star background. So selecting that and clicking Insert, and then clicking Close, you can see that now my drawn shape looks like that photograph. So now I am going to take this shape, and actually it still has the drawn border around the object and I want to be sure to remove that. That's going to be important later on. So let's go to the Drawing Tools Format tab and let's remove the shape outline by choosing No Outline from those options. Now I want to make sure that shape is in the upper right hand corner and then stretch that object out to fill the entire slide area. Now you will notice that doing it this way, you have options for both the drawing tools and the picture tools. So since this is a fairly large picture, I do want to be sure that I compress this photograph. So skipping over to the picture tools format tab, I'm going to click on compress pictures and compress this to screen and then click OK. So that's kind of the nice thing about adding a picture background to a drawn object. You have the formatting options for both picture tools and drawing tools all in one. And the next two steps, you'll see exactly why it was so important for us to format a shape this way.